I'm Scott Money, and here's your entertainment update. You might say Jennifer Grey is having the time of her life. Last night, the Dirty Dancing star was crowned this year's winner of Dancing with the Stars. The 50-year-old Grey and her partner Derek Huff outlasted youngsters Kyle Massey and Bristol Palin to take home the coveted disco ball after over three months of intense competition. Some felt Palin was lucky to finish in the top three as she consistently scored poorly with the judges. Apparently, Americans take the reality TV very seriously. As one man was so mad Palin made it to the finals, he blasted his TV with a shotgun. John Travolta and his wife Kelly Preston welcomed their son Benjamin Tuesday night. The baby boy weighed a solid 8 pounds at birth and becomes little brother to 10-year-old Ella Blue. The birth comes less than two years after Travolta and Preston's son Jet died from a seizure in their holiday home in the Bahamas. A see-through dress Kate Middleton wore in a 2002 charity fashion show could sell for 100,000 pounds. It said the provocative dress played a role in wooing Prince William when he watched his bride-to-be strut her stuff on the runway. Originally valued at 30 pounds, the designer of the dress, Charlotte Todd, vows not to sell it. Disney has a new take on the tale of Rapunzel in the animated film Tangled. The long-haired princess, voiced by Mandy Moore, takes the notorious bandit Flynn Rider, played by Zachary Levy, hostage when he tries to hide out in her tower. Rapunzel, seeking a way out of the tower, makes a deal with the thief and sets off on an action-filled adventure meeting an interesting cast of characters. The movie debuts today in 3D. And it looks like Hollywood's vampire obsession isn't going anywhere yet. Warner Brothers has acquired the rights to make a new Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. Both creator Joss Whedon and Sarah Michelle Gellar are being left out of the project. Whedon says he's appalled at the remake, criticizing it for being unoriginal and unnecessary. And after 87 episodes spanning six seasons, Canadian duo Kenny Hotz and Spencer Rice are ending their hit series Kenny vs. Spenny with an hour-long Christmas special. This show pit the two men against each other in a series of competitions where the loser would face some sort of humiliation. The humiliation was determined by the winner. Competitions have included who can stay naked the longest and who's the best male stripper, among many others. Though the series is ending, fans can expect both men to return next year with their own solo shows. And that does it for entertainment. Back to you guys in the studio. That's all for Humber News today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Russo. And I'm Kyle Hall. News can be found online at mediaservices.humber.ca and YouTube. We'll see you next time.